Hey, hello, hi. You can, there you go. I had to wait for it to focus. Welcome to No Skinny Jeans. It is Monday and I'm feeling good. I just got in from a three mile walk, jog, run. More walking than running or jogging, but that's okay. Got up and did it. Stop looking at me. Look can't, at I can't help but look at you. Look at you. Look You're at beautiful. The, look at the camera. Mine is sorry. So just got in from a three mile walk, run, jog, more walking than running but I am going to challenge myself this week. I'm gonna close my rings for five days this week. That is the mission. You, 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 you are gonna hold me accountable. Every day I'll show you when my rings close and you're gonna hold me accountable too? Is, yeah. That's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'll take you along with me. We'll get this party started. Good morning, everybody. It's that time again. It's way in time. Hoping to make it to 60 pounds, we're gonna see. I know this week my, uh, with everything going on, we had the gender reveal, we had everything. My exercise wasn't where it's supposed to be, so that's why this week, for five the five days of the week, I'm trying to push and close every ring. As of yesterday, closed every single ring. So, we're off to a good start. Let's go ahead and weigh in real quick and get our day going. And up first, we have three, four, 339. And we got it twice, so that's what we're going to go with. 339. So I'll do the math, and we'll see where we're at. All right, so it's been a month. We're going to do measurements and see where I'm at, as we got the big measuring tape this time. Take off your shirt. Based on our last readings, that means I'm down half an inch in my neck, down two and a half inches in my chest, down one inch in my arms, and down one and a half inches in my hips, down one and a half inches in my thighs, down two and a half in my waist, and I'm down, it looks like one inch uh, at the belly button reading, which that's just one month. So I feel really good about that. I'll total up the total inches lost of the month versus that too here in a minute. Um, but overall, this is from the very beginning, uh, from July 1st. I am down one and a half inches in my neck, three inches in my chest, three and a half inches in my arms, seven inches in my hips, five and a half in my thighs, six inches in my waist, and four inches in my belly button. Today's weight is 339, as you saw there. I'm down 3.6 pounds from last week. And overall, I'm down 60.8 pounds in 13 weeks. That's, that's mind boggling for me to even think about from the beginning till now. Uh, I never thought it would be, I'd be at this point. So that's a big one for me. Uh, I feel really good about that. So I totaled up the inches and this is even more mind boggling for me, but uh, in the last month, I've lost 10 and a half inches overall. And from the beginning, I have lost 30.5 inches in my whole body. So let's hold up and see how much that is because we can use this. Yeah. So overall, I don't, there we go. Thank you, assistant. That's how many inches. It's about the size of a two year old. Yeah. Yeah. About, about two and a half feet is what I have lost on my body overall. That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thrilled about that. You know, thank you guys for being along with me on that journey, and I, we really appreciate it. Thank you for being there with me. Sounds like a great speech. It's not a great speech. I'm proud of you. I'm just proud. <sighs> so we're back from the chiropractor, and today was a good adjustment for me. I got my lower back adjusted, and I felt it immediately through my hips which could have been in part to yesterday, like doing three miles and that, it kind of realigned me, it felt like almost. How was it for you? It was really good. Yeah? Yeah. I got to watch uh, what Lauren goes through with hers, so that was, it's always a good thing for me. I love learning mm -hmm. about that stuff and how the body functions and. He's a nerd. <sighs> Rude. And I was having some issues last week. I lifted some weights when I was at the gym and my arm was locked probably for like a good two, three days, but it's all better now, better now, but I asked my chiropractor, hey, you know, what could that have been? And we went through probably 30 minutes of conversation just about what it could have been. So it's always a good thing. I told Lauren I'm probably going to go play some basketball, take you guys with me and show you Sweet. Oops, my nice. skills, bro. 
<sighs> so we're out here. It's about 1.30. Got to pick up Ella at like 2.15. So I'm going to play here and then go pick her up. But definitely uh, I saw a story today that kind of hit home. So I just wanted to quick talk about it. Won't spend more than two minutes on it, I promise. But in Salt Lake City, unfortunately, there was a uh, child, 13 year old, who had autism who was shot by the police. Um, and unfortunately that's nothing to do with anything going on. It's just people need more exposure to it, I think. So for example, that's kind of worries me with Ella because she is terrified of police sirens, uh, anytime we see a police car, things like that. And that's been for a long time. We've tried to work on it. Um, but yeah, that stuff kind of scares me. So, you know, say a prayer for that family and for those police officers too. They had no clue what was going on. Um, I know our local police agency did say something about providing training, which is awesome. Uh, I will reach out to them and see if we can help in any way. Uh, yeah, that just hits home. So I'm going to go out here and get a workout in and get my mind off of things. I am rusty. Whew. This is a typical Florida warning. I'll try to see. Maybe my editor can uh, zoom in on that, but warning about snakes and alligators. I mean, it's fairly common. Not, I mean, I guess it is very common, but. So finished playing basketball, put up a ton of bricks because I'm terrible, but it was good to get that workout and figure out that I can still explode and run and do all that. So that's a good thing. But yeah, getting a few laps in before I go pick up my Little munchkin. And then there's no iPad. There's no iPad? But there is no iPad, but she doesn't like recess. You don't like recess? Why don't you like recess? So as I lean on my wife here. Now you look big. That's all right. All right. I don't care about looking big. My, uh, my thumbnail will run off the haters. <laughs> the haters. I'm just closer to the camera. You know, I was very proud of this week's progress, honestly, just because of how off we were. I mean, we went, we were mm -hmm. going 100 miles an hour last week, so. Yeah, we had a lot of opportunities to eat bad, too. Yeah, which, I mean, I did eat bad in some opportunities. Mm -hmm. And, like, I had a sandwich, which is carbs, that kind of thing. But what I decided was... One sandwich isn't going to kill me. I'm going to do it. Have some fries. And look how good you And did. then I'm going to go right back to my diet and what I'm supposed to do. As you mess with my head. Thanks. Typical wife stuff. And I got out and played basketball for the first time. Mm -hmm. Paying for it now. I'm a little sore. Well, we that and we've been freaking cleaning like crazy people. We did. We cleaned about three rooms deep clean. Like deep fans, picture frames. Like, I wiped off every toy in Elle's room today. Yes, you did. Yeah, we needed it. And we got under her bed. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like kids always stash things oh under the bed. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. No, we did a lot today. We did. We did. But I'm going to close it out here. You'll see some basketball clips of my horribleness. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, it's terrible. I literally just felt so out of place. Like, the first time I shot a basketball in probably, what, three, four years at least? Yeah. So, I'm tired. I'm tired too, but remember, we got this. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.